What you're about to view is the most amazing tool that has ever been introduced into the drilling industry. This tool floats within its own borehole. What does that mean? That means you can dig bigger holes, you can go deeper with your holes. And because it floats, the deeper you drill, the easier it drills. The larger the hole, the easier it drills. And you can drill by yourself. You can drill the hole, you can set up the rig, you can pull 100 feet out of the ground all by yourself, simply by filling the drill stem full of air. It's a revolutionary drill. It's going to change the world. What we're going to end up with is every drill in the entire world will eventually use this process if it's designed for a hand drilled well. So that's what you're looking at. And that this new invention is based on an old invention. Here's a copy of my 1982 patent that I was awarded for a similar drill. Now I have a new invention that is a massive improvement over the original patent. Now here are some photos that show the basic parts of the drill. The drill operates on the airlift reverse flow principle. In that process, air is introduced to the interior of the white drill stem at the base of the drill near the X-shaped bit. The compressed air that is introduced mixes with the drilling fluid inside the drill, making the fluid inside the pipe lighter than the drilling fluid outside the pipe. Because the fluid in the pipe is lighter than the fluid outside the pipe, the fluid inside the pipe is displaced and rises to the top of the borehole. This fluid then exits the pipe through the holes in the drill stem, seen here covered by black colored seals. The multiple white and black pipes you see are additional drill stems that attach at the top of the section of drill stem attached to the bit. Each black hole you see is located precisely in its required location. If even a single outlet is misplaced, the entire device may fail to work properly. After the drill and drill stem are built, a surface casing is installed. First, a hole for the surface casing is prepared. For a 4-inch diameter well casing, I like to set a 6-inch diameter surface casing. I generally use post hole diggers and make a 3-foot deep hole and drive a 4-foot long casing in the ground with a sledgehammer. It is important to let the casing stick up six to eight inches above the ground so that spoils from the excavation will not enter the borehole. Next, we assemble a mud tank. As an alternative to building a portable mud tank, one may place polyethylene sheeting on a cleared ground surface and make a mud pit by supporting the poly some distance from the borehole with stakes such that a small pond is constructed. There is never a need to machine or hand dig a mud pit in the ground. If you use this method, just let the pipe stick up three or four inches. Next, one can prepare the portable mud tank. I use a 120 gallon stock watering tank constructed of recycled plastic. I normally pay about $70 for these tanks. After I get the tank, I take a reciprocating saw and cut a hole in the bottom to accept a roof jack to seal against the surface casing and stop the casing from leaking. These portable tanks are fine if the borehole is less than 6 inches in diameter and less than 50 foot deep. A polyline pit can be used if the depth or diameter is greater. Now let's look at a 2 inch diameter drill cutting a 5.5 inch diameter hole. In the photo we can see the reverse flow drill pumping about 40 gallons of water and sand cuttings per minute. At the top of the picture working down, we first see a handle attached to the 2-inch drill stem. Next, on the left, we see the black outlet port cover slipped up the drill stem and held in place with a 3-inch clamp. Also held by that clamp is a damper to slow down the cuttings emitted from the exit port in the drill stem. To the right of the port, the drill fluid, water, is exiting the drill stem and dropping down into the portable mud tank. The drill normally is producing 40 to 45 gallons per minute with a 3 or 4 foot per minute air supply. Next down the picture is the arrow pointing to the drill stem. Of course, the drill stem runs from the top 
of the photo down into the tank and thence into the ground. Then on the right is an arrow pointing to the portable mud tank. The tank is simply a stock watering tank that is sold in farm supply stores for about $70. The tank is altered to make a leak-proof connection to the surface casing that is below the water. Next on the left side of the drawings is the air supply line. This line is about a quarter inch in diameter and 100 feet long. The cost is about $30. The red air line is connected to the four cubic foot a minute compressor that cost about $100. The other end of the line is connected just above the bit borehole. In the center of the drawing is a note with an arrow pointing to the drilling water and mud mixture. Normally, if one sees that the water is being absorbed by the borehole, one must mix mud with the water to seal the borehole against leakage. Finally, in the drawing, one can see the green water supply line. Normally, it would be necessary to fill this tank a few times in order to drill 40 or 50 feet deep. As the borehole is drilled, the mud tank becomes increasingly filled with spoils from the excavation. One must empty the spoils from the tank and fill it with water to keep the water level above the tank bottom. If you are a representative of an independent nation or an NGO and interested in this well drilling process, please contact me for further information at rccrawford at swbell.net. I am interested in helping those in need of water by furnishing them with the information it takes to drill and install wells. Because of the simplicity of this method of drilling, any group of people given these tools can drill their own well. If you would like me to instruct your technicians so they can instruct others as to how to build and use this tool, then I am prepared to help. If you have a large group, just cover my costs, including travel and lodging, and I will come where needed. If you're a citizen of the United States, contact me if you would like a full set of plans to drill and install wells using this method. I will accept donations to help with the cost of furnishing plans. If you would like for me to fabricate and furnish a bit or an entire field of drilling tools for you, then email me your requirements. I will furnish an entire kit for a reasonable cost. It's time to get to work. This is our chance to save the world.